Okay, so creating our first basic spreadsheet. I'm just going to load Excel. Ba -ba -ba. Start with a blank worksheet and I'm going to start by entering in some text. So move my cursor into cell A1 and we'll type in the first heading as per our class sheets. Michelle's when I learn how to type, chicken emporium. Move my cursor, I'm just using the enter key, but you can use the down arrow or cross arrows, however you need to to get there. Move my cursor to cell A3, type in my heading, breeds, just arrow across to cell B3, and I'm going to type in there the word quantity. And you'll notice that by default text is left aligned, so it's aligned at the left of each of the cells. And you can see the way Excel is made up. Rows going down here, columns going across. You can always tell where your cursor is. When you click somewhere, you can see the little highlights there. You'll also see the name of the cell here, which is given by the, inter the intersection between the column letter and the row number and there are heaps of columns and lots of rows and we can have a look at how many there are you wouldn't believe how many there's just more than you could ever need to use so move into A5 I'm going to type in my first item commercial layers yep it's a list of all my chickens Sussex light and coronation well, summer wine out gold laced Orpington buff and white Brahma. Ostra Lorp Black Blue and Splash which are the colours that I have press enter again and Silky Cross which are what the young ones are press enter again mm. you'll see that um, the columns are a certain width and a lot of my text has gone over a column so I can resize the column the easiest way to do that is to move between you'll see as I move between the two headings the C and the D for example that my cursor changes and it has a little arrow going pointing to the left and to the right you can see there if I put it there between column A and B because I want to resize column A I can actually hold my left mouse, mouse button down and drag it you'll see the size come up the width in pixels and I think it's centimeters come up and I can move it until I'm happy with it fitting in like so let's move it about there let go of my button and it's resized the column the other way of doing it is just to put your cursor between the two where you get the double arrow thing and just double click and what that will do is it will resize it so that the largest bit of information in the column will fit in just perfect and um, you can see that's where it is just a tiny little bit of a gap and it fits in beautifully so we can leave it at that I'm happy with the columns now I'm just going to put some numbers in and by default numbers are right justified so as I'm entering in numbers I'm just typing them in I'm actually just pressing enter to move down so seven four two two four five 12 and 3 and there we go we've got numbers you can see they're right justified which is what you would expect with numbers because um, you always line them up the units and the tens and the hundreds etc going back to when you used to do maths um, and then the last thing we're going to do to create our first little simple spreadsheet is we're going to use the auto sum and the auto sum is a feature of um, Excel it's one of the inbuilt functions and what it will do is actually add up the column for me so if I move up here auto sums located up here click on auto sum Excel does make some um, assumptions based on the data that you've got in there most of the time it gets them right occasionally it gets them wrong but most of the time it gets them right in this case it has 
what you'll see is what I call the marching ants, the dots kind of moving around the outside of the range. The range has gone a slightly bluer colour, so you can see that it's highlighted. And you'll see the formula building equals sum, because that's the uh, formula that we're using, so the sum formula. And in there, the range B5 colon B12. And ranges are designated by the two diagonal points. In this case, it's straight, so it's B5, which is here, through to B12, which is here, and the colon separates them. Look, I'm happy with that. Excel's done exactly what I want. If I just press Enter, voila, there's my number. And that, if you were to add it up manually, you'll find that that is actually the correct answer. Thank you, Excel.